practice A for section 7-1, we're going to look at numbers 20 through 26. We're going to find the area of a right triangle with a given leg and hypotenuse. So they're telling you what the leg and the hypotenuse are. Round your decimal answers to the nearest tenth. I always do hundredth. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have a right triangle where you know a leg and a hypotenuse. When you have a right triangle, you need the two legs to find the area because notice how the legs actually form the base and the height. So this H isn't height. Maybe it would be better if I did that for hypotenuse. Sometimes the H obviously is used for height like we did on the last one. And that's not the case here. So you need both legs. You need leg one and leg two. They don't give you leg one and leg two, they give you the hypotenuse. So you need to do a little bit of math first so you could figure out the other leg. So this is a triple, or it's going to be a triple. Three, four, five times three gives you nine, twelve, fifteen. Nine, twelve, fifteen. So your two legs are nine and twelve. Find the area of a right triangle where the legs are 9 and 12. So all you're doing there is 1 half base times height. I didn't even need to do that in the calculator. But it's 54. I know there's not a lot of room here. Obviously, I'm experiencing that now as well. If you don't have enough room, get a different piece of paper. So... 1 half 9 times 12. I know half of 12 is 6. I know 9 times 6 is 54, which is what I showed you in the calculator. That's how all of these are going to go. You're going to find the other leg and then use it to find the area of the triangle. Um, a lot of these end up being triples. A lot of them do. Um, I'm going to jump down here and do number 24 because I look at it and I can't immediately think of the triple. So I'm going to show you how you find that if you don't know it. So if you know the hypotenuse in a leg, how do you find the other leg? You take those two numbers and you subtract them when you know the hypotenuse. So we're doing the square root of 72 squared minus 21 squared. Well, that doesn't look so good. Did I do that right? Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. It's obviously a decimal. Uh, I think I did everything right. Yeah, so that's the length of the other leg. And I know it's not pretty. But when you square it, well, you don't want to square it. That is the length of the other leg. So the other leg that you have is 21. So you need to take this number times 21 and then divide that by 2. So again, it's not pretty, but it's saying round your answers to the nearest tenth, but I'm going to say hundredth. So here's your answer here. Your other leg, we said, was this guy. So it's probably not a good idea to round this to 68.87 right now. Notice how I used the exact answer in my calculator. I didn't round and then use a rounded answer to find another answer. That creates lots of error. So what you need to do is use this exact answer times your other leg, and then obviously times 1 half or divided by 2. Now, at the end, you're allowed to round. Just don't round in the middle of the problem. So I'm going to call this 723.13 because the third digit is 5 or bigger. Number 26, what is the area of a right triangle with leg length 30 and hypotenuse 34? So it's the same thing that we were doing here. So I guess we'll just do it. I think this is a triple as well. One leg's 30, the hypotenuse is 34. This is 8, 15, 17. Oh, I'm off the paper. 8, 15, 17, which is 16, 30, 34. So your other guy that you need is 16. 
multiply those two together. One half sixteen times thirty. And that might seem tough to do, but half of sixteen is eight. Eight times thirty is two forty. So it'd be this guy. 